Hi everyone, this is a vlog where I'm going to take you to University of Suffolk from London. I'm very excited, so come along with me. As we take the train from London to Ipswich, I want to take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, Leverage Edu, a platform that provides end-to-end -end support for study abroad programs and courses, applications, visas, scholarships and much more. Hi everyone, we have just reached Ipswich, which is where the University of Suffolk is. As you can see behind me, this is the main uh, train station and we are standing outside it. It took about an hour and a half to get from Liverpool Street in London to Ipswich. And now we're going to take a taxi to go to the campus. So follow me. This is my camera person, my sister Seerat. Hi. Hi. How are you? Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm so excited to see this campus. It's going to be fun. I remember when I was a student, I used to want to really know as much as I could about the university. So it's cool we're doing this for yeah. rich applicants like you. Thank you for coming with me. Welcome to the University of Suffolk. So right now we are standing in front of the waterfront building. As you can see, it is by the water, like by the pier. And we are going to meet somebody from their marketing team now, Jessica. And uh, follow me there. Hi everyone, now I am with Jessica, who is the International Recruitment Officer here at University of Suffolk. Hi Jess. Hi everybody, um, so I'm the International Recruitment Officer here um, and if you are to apply at our wonderful university, you will most likely see me around. Great. So just tell us a little bit about the university, how long have you been working here, how is it working here? So I have been working here since September and um, it's great working here, very lively, very busy um, and I mean the university is wonderful, it's got beautiful views outside, um, very friendly, we're here in our um, waterfront building coffee shop and it's super quiet and relaxed, uh, yeah it's just a great place to be. <laughs> Wonderful, great, so now Jess is going to take us around the campus and you'll see some behind the scenes. So we have now reached the campus of University of Suffolk that is in Ipswich which is about two and a half hours away from London Heathrow Airport. You have to take two trains to get here, one of them is the new Elizabeth line but it's super convenient to get to and once you get to the train station it's about a 15 minute walk to get to the campus or you can also take a taxi as we did. So we, now we're going to go on a full-on campus tour uh, with Jess and uh, University of Suffolk has a variety of courses for undergrad and postgrad students. Everything to do with business, uh, computing, data science, humanities, arts and paramedics. So I'm really excited to show you the campus and keep watching. are the 360 cameras um, 
and they will form the whole room and they are used since the pandemic for students who can't make it to class for illness or because of you know other serious commitments, they can catch the whole class online as if they were in the room. Uh, we have the visualizer, which is really useful for um, science subjects, you know, to draw on diagrams. The projector as usual, which comes down from the top and then good old fashioned whiteboards. <laughs> Love that. This is our atrium building. You can see it says Suffolk Business School, but that's not all that's in here. We also have some of our computer suites. We have our 3D printing suite, our diagnostic and therapeutic radiography rooms. So there is lots packed into this building. So here you can see we have one of our common areas where students can just hang out. It's beautiful in the sunshine. We are the sunniest county in the UK. Um, so our students union is just through those doors and they can grab a snack, they can grab a drink with their friends, come out here and hang out. It's a really nice space to be. So this is our 3D productivity suite. We have all of our 3D printers in here that are used by our business students, our computing students, our architecture students. Okay, so this is one of our 3D printers here in 3D productivity suite. Um, it prints in three different materials all at the same time. You can see this wonderful foot has clear material on the outside and colored material on the inside. It was all printed at the same time. And you can see this huge base. It's got a massive capacity to print anything your heart desires. So these are our innovation labs. This is where our careers team lives. And it's also a co-working space that is open to not just the university, but to local businesses around the area. This is where you can, you can find all of your careers support as well. So if you want to do a micro placement or if you want some advice on setting up your own business, this is the place to be. This is how you um, rent a book. Yeah, loan books, return loan books. books. It's all done kind of humanless. It's all done by a machine now. Again, I mean, we've got some more self help books, some well being books, trying to promote that kind of um, message. So, this is our library. As you can see, we have many, many, many physical books. Um, but this is just in addition to all of the material that we now have online. Obviously most of the material you can get online now, but if you prefer to read physical books or if there is a book that you just cannot find online, this is where you can find everything. This is for free for all of the university students. We also have a fantastic library team. Our library and study skills team are here to help you. So as you can see, we've actually got an event on today in our students union, um, all about being a family carer and dementia action. We have an event on this week for dementia action, just to really inform our students about what's going on in those areas of the world. So this is Athena Hall. This is our on-campus student accommodation. We have about 500 rooms here with four different room types. All of them have double beds and en suites. So you would be living in a really nice little apartment. Between four and seven people is who you would be sharing with, with common areas for hanging out with bigger groups of people and 24 seven security. So just how far is the accommodation from the campus? So you can probably walk to our campus in three or four minutes because you can see the waterfront right there. Oh my God. So the campus is really three or four minutes. You can just roll out of bed and rock up to your lecture on time. This is the James Air building. So if you are a science student, oh. you literally just come downstairs, walk across and go oh, in here. Wow. Um, it's like ridiculously close by. So as you can see, this is a mock ambulance room. This is what we use to train our paramedics who are on our paramedic science course. 
And you can see in here, we have lots of different materials. It looks exactly like an ambulance. We have all the different equipment so that people can practice working in really close spaces. Cult is one of the bars and cafes that we have on campus. Um, they do really great food. You can come in here and you can also get student discount. So why you should apply to the University of Suffolk is because there are so many range of courses and also the campus is beautiful, it's not too far from London, there is plenty to do in around the, the campus area and also if you're a postgraduate student you get access to tons of scholarship opportunities and there's also zero application fees. Um, if you are an undergraduate student also you, you have a minimal application fee and then you have also access to lots of scholarships. So, Make sure you are checking out their website below and Leverage Edu also helps you throughout the application process, whether it's, you know, help with your essays, your scholarship process, your accommodation. Um, they are your partners to help you with that. Another reason to consider the University of Suffolk in Ipswich is because of its reasonable cost of living. The accommodation is very much affordable, you know, when you don't want to spend too much per month on rent, groceries, um, all the other expenses that a student has to bear when it comes to going out, chilling with friends, books, all these things are expensive. So if you are somebody on a budget but you want good quality education, this is, a, this is seriously a city and a university to consider. And the best part is if you do want to get into the main cities, the train station is right around the corner. You can go to Liverpool, London, Manchester, wherever it is that you want to go. When I was applying to study in the UK, it, the whole process was so tedious and so intimidating. I did not have the right kind of support, the right kind of mentors, the right kind of tools and resources available for me. But now Leverage Edu does that for you. So you need to check it out, my friends. It's completely, completely in your hands how you make your applications and how you choose the right partner to help you get to the university of your choice. So now we're going to be interviewing someone from the University of Suffolk team. I am very excited to speak with him. His name is Mr. Gurpreet and he is the Pro Vice Chancellor of Business and Entrepreneurship here at University of Suffolk. Hello sir, nice hello. to meet you. Good to meet you and hello to all of our prospective students watching this video from around the world. Great, thank you for joining us today. Uh, we'd love to learn more about what you do here, what your role is, and uh, why is it exciting for a student to be a part of the university? My role here at university is Pro Vice Chancellor for Business and Entrepreneurship. So one of the unique things uh, about the University of Suffolk is we really pride ourselves on a curriculum and degree programs that are really uh, informed by and connected to industry. So really advocate all of our students um, having the opportunity to engage with business, both within the curriculum, mm -hmm. so through guest speaking opportunities where we bring employers in, through the opportunity to do consultancy projects uh, for business, the opportunity to do internships and placements, but then also through all of our uh, extracurricular activity as well. That's lovely, that's lovely. Employability is one of Absolutely. the things that's on everybody's mind, especially if they're investing that time and money to come all the way and you know there should be some chance of getting an opportunity to, to be able to work. And I think the post post study work permit also helps with that now. So so that's Yeah, great. I mean it's a unique opportunity now and it's great to see that that has been brought back in by our by our government. Yeah. Um, so we are looking to see how we can support our students mm -hmm. to make the most of that opportunity and, and to make the most of that post-study uh, work visa. Uh, one of the questions I get a lot from you know my audience is uh, because of the pandemic things mm -hmm. are things have changed and there's a lot of uncertainty and people are really uh, you know skeptical about moving abroad moving countries uh, what do you have to say to somebody who's you know in double minds because of that you know like they don't know how things can change and what is the post pandemic scenario uh, here i mean the post pandemic scenario in the uk is quite a positive one actually i mean we were one of the earliest countries to kind of lift all restrictions um so you can move around freely um but if you know if you choose that that doesn't make you feel comfortable you can still you know do your mask wearing hand sanitizing etc we we you know we encourage that on campus but it's not something that's enforced mm -hmm. but everyone respects one another's wishes so um it, it's really up to to you in terms of how you how you want to 
develop that. In, in terms of um, employment, jobs and business and industry and, and, and the way that's going, we're seeing a real big bounce back in the UK. Um, mm -hmm. So unemployment figures were out this morning. They are uh, very low in comparison to other countries. Yes. Um, and they are lower than, uh, than we anticipated. So there are still a huge amount of jobs and vacancies out there. Now we have someone really special here with us, and that is Karina. She's studying criminology and sociology here at University of Suffolk. And she is from Romania. Hi, Karina. Welcome to Hello. the video. Um, Karina, why don't you tell us a little bit about, you know, your university experience, campus life, how it's uh, being a student here, and you're also a student ambassador. So a little bit about that. So um, I'm living in a student accommodation since my first year here, and I'm in my second one. Okay. So uh, there was a nice experience there, as it was an easy way to make friends, mm -hmm. and then it was the student ambassador scheme on which I applied. And there was again many opportunities to meet people from different courses that are my peers in this scheme. Um, helped me with my language very much because you need to communicate com communicate very much in the student ambassador events, when open events, yeah. campus stores. So I practiced basically my English, which was very good for an international student. Yeah. Um, and Karina, what are the things to do, you know, on weekends for fun, to relax and chill with friends? So uh, the position of Ipswich is very nice as it's very close to London uh, but also because it's, uh, you have the waterfront which is a very nice view so a walk on sunset is very nice, you have the parks, you can go and play some games, um, uh, read in nature, spend some time with friends again. Um, it's, it's a small town which is uh, safe Mm -hmm. And it's maybe it's more comfortable for an international student who just think who just change everything, so it gave me a little bit more of a like security, a, yeah, yeah, security and safe place to say so. Um, yeah, you have uh, coffee, coffee pubs, um, many restaurants. So yeah, you do really have things to do. You don't you don't have time to to be bored. You <laughs> That's important. No time to get bored. <laughs> Wonderful. And one last question. What is your favorite part about being a student at University of Suffolk? Um, the environment in classes and that you get to know your peers and your teachers and they support you uh, very much. So they have time for you to answer to all your questions, to help you with your exams, with, your, with the things that you don't really get very well in the class. Um, and the one-to-one -one tutorial that you can book with them. So you, if you are like a little bit shy in the beginning, you have the opportunity to just talk with them. That's great. One-to-one -one support. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Karina. It was lovely Thank meeting you. you. Thank you. And if you are thinking about applying, now is the time to do that because there are tons of scholarship opportunities available for postgrad and undergraduate students. And if you're a postgraduate student, you have to pay no application fee at all. And also Leverage Edu is here to help you with your ongoing application process, whether it's scholarships, accommodation, essays, your statement of purpose, any of that, Leverage Edu is your partner to help you make the right application and get through the university of your choice. And I think University of Suffolk is a great option for you. The fee for the program is also very affordable, very reasonable. It's about 13,000 pounds to about 15,000 pounds per year. Um, so if you are considering a university that is near around London, access to lots of industries within the area, whether it's logistics, business, of course, medical, there's plenty of opportunity around the city and access to London is also very, very easy. So University of Suffolk is a great option for you. So click on the link below if you want to learn anything more about Suffolk University in particular and how Leverage Edu can help you through this process. So this is one of the Indian restaurants right near campus. My sister and I have been given the entire tour and we've had a great day. Um, and then I wanted to learn more about, you know, Indian students community and culture here and if you're craving Indian food it's literally right next to the campus so lots of options so we've had a fun day Seerat thank you for being with me anytime and uh, it's been a great experience and I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog remember to apply on time and get in touch with Leverage Edu for all your admission needs and uh, yeah they'll be your guide like yeah. I said all the best for your application. Thank you for watching. We'll be back soon. Bye.